email 31, I had a question coming out of section 3.1, number 33. And in this problem, we're given this function and we're asked to use it to evaluate this expression. So I'm going to go one piece at a time. So let me use my highlighters. So this first term that I need to substitute for, I'm going to write my green stuff over here. So we were given that g of x was equal to x squared plus 2x. All right, so if the green term here is saying g of x, well, I know what g of x is going to be equal to. But the next term I see is g of a. So I need to figure out what g of a is equal to. And according to this function, g of a is a squared plus 2a. So I'm going to wind up substituting in for g of x and g of a. Let me go back to my green. So we know that g of x is x squared plus 2x. So that's why you see me doing this first substitution here. All right, and then we also know that g of a is a squared plus 2a, so I'm going to do this second substitution here. All right, so what I'm doing from, I'll call it, let me change the color here, from step one to step two, oh that's not really the greatest, uh, that color is a little hard to see. Let me say from step one here to step two is I'm substituting. So instead of writing this general g function, I'm putting in our particular functions here. All right, now the denominator, and I guess I'll just go with a different, one more other color, let's put orange. The denominator x minus a is gonna stay x minus a. Oh, and let me complete this. This should have been the purple one, a squared plus two a. So I'm substituting, all right? Once you're through there, all right, once you're through this initial problem where you take out your general g's, your general function notation and put in your actual expression for your function that was given, which for our case was x squared plus 2x, then it's all a bunch of algebra. So if I start to distribute this, let me go back to my pen color, all right, I'm going to have, if I distribute this negative, let me do a little side step here, this would have been x squared plus 2x minus a squared minus 2a. And then I would have that over x minus a. So what I did from this step to this step was I just rewrote it a little bit. So I paired up, and let me change colors, I'll go with yellow. I put the x squared and the a squared together initially, right? And then let me go with a blue, and then I put the 2x and the 2a here. And the reason I'm going to opt to do that is because I had four terms in my numerator. So that's going to tell me, hey, you should probably try factoring by grouping. And we've talked about factoring by grouping before, but whenever you got four terms, there's a pretty good chance you're going to do some factoring by grouping. So that's what I opted to do. Now, I also, if you wanted to, you could have, you could have paired these two and these two. That would have worked as well, but I just opted to do this. And so I'm going to show you what, how I broke this down. This term right here is the difference of squares, x minus a, x plus a. These two terms, they have a 2 in common, so I factored out the 2 and I'm left with x minus a. So I went from having four terms here to having two terms here. And you might be saying, how do you have two terms? Well, let me show you. This is one term, okay? And then this is another term, two terms, all right? Instead of one, two, three, four terms. But what these two terms have in common, you can see it, is that they have an x minus a in common. So I'm going to factor this out. And that's what you see going on here. And what's left? Well, x plus a plus 2. All right? And then once we have that factored out, you can see that these are going to cancel. All right? And I'm just left with x plus a plus 2. Now, let me do this a different way just so you can see it one more time. Let's say we had x squared plus 2x minus a squared minus 2a over x minus a. And now let's, let's do this. Let's factor or let's group the first two and the second two. If I want to take the GCF out of the first terms, it's going to be x times x plus 2. And then I'm, out of the second two terms, I'm going to factor out a minus a, and I'm going to get left with a plus 2. If I'm looking at that, oh, and actually, I'm glad I took a look at this. This doesn't work. And it's a good, it's a good thing to actually go through and say, hey, it doesn't work. And why it doesn't work is if you look at these back factors here, they are not the same. All right, one had an x, the other one had an a, so that wasn't that wasn't going to work. So now that I'm working through that, I can see that that's why I had to factor or I had to combo the x squared and the a squared and the 2x and the 2a. 
That was so I could get those back factors to match. And let me just show you what I mean by the back factors. Let me erase some stuff here and show you that when I factored out this um, difference of squares and the two, a, the two here, right, you see the common factor of x minus a and x minus a, and that's what I factored out here. And then what was I left with? I was left with x plus a plus two, and that's what I got here. All right, so there's a look at number 33. Thanks so much, everyone. Bye.